Hi, I'm Preston Huddy. I'm the Distribution Center Manager here at the Waco DC. Our greatest challenge at first was like most people in America, and that was understanding how the virus spread so that we could mitigate the infection rate here in the distribution center. There are hundreds of people that work in our distribution centers, and we want to be able to continue our mission. Uh, many people were worried because of many of the unknowns. Uh, so we were following CDC guidelines, and we had a huge push on education throughout the building. Uh, this community of people uh, here in this building uh, have a lot of ties to the to military. We have many veterans here. Uh, we have veteran spouses. So their motivation is they understand the mission of the organization and their mission in particular. Uh, and we're very successful each day because of that. My name is Peggy Bonia. I'm the assistant storage manager at the Waco Distribution Center. I'm, I'm really proud of our team with all the changes that have happened. They've really persevered through them. Um, just multiple levels. They know who their customers are and they understand why they're essential. We've equipped our associates and we've empowered them with knowledge on how to protect themselves, how to protect their families, their co-workers. And so our goal and our drive is to get the product to the store safely for our soldiers and veterans and their families. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christina Perez. I'm an e-com clerk. You don't, you know, wear your face masks all the time. Some people can't wear face masks, they wear face guards wear gloves. I think a face mask should match your outfit. So, you know, colors, you can't you can't put a smile on your face, but if somebody sees a face mask with a pretty parent on it, you're like, oh hey, I'm gonna smile at you. <laughs> but I think we're doing pretty good. I think, you know, we're taking precautions. We have kids at home. We don't want to get sick. We don't want to get our family members sick. My name is James Garfield and I'm a driver for AFIS. You've got awesome people that work in this warehouse. You've got management, you've got loaders, you've got shippers uh, as far as uh, personnel in the shipping department, you've got receivers, and they're all like a, a chain on a bike. They're all linked together. And once they're done loading these trailers for uh, the final destination, it's up to me to get it there safely, securely. So I'm kind of like that final link. I'm without Everybody else, the trailers can't get loaded. Without me, I can't get the trailer to the destination unless I'm safe, on time, rested, making sure everything is in order for delivery. So it's a good thing. I make sure the product is on time. I make sure the product is delivered safely as far as no damage. The heavy's on the bottom, the light's on top. Uh, I, I give to the stores 100%. The, the customers are our support, are our backbone and now it's my turn to support them. I would ask them to put themselves in the shoes of maybe a military family that is on base, that they don't have any toilet paper, they don't have any diapers. They're counting on us to get that merchandise to the store safely so they can continue on and live their lives. They're under stress the same as we are, but we're here to make that a little bit easier for them. It makes me feel, I don't know, it makes me feel special because I'm actually doing something different. You know, we haven't stopped working since we started. Since everything started, people stopped working. We kept working. We kept, you know, we have families we gotta support. We have military families that we gotta help out. I mean, so we can't stop because we have to keep going. The exchange is filled with amazing, dedicated professionals that always seem to rise to every challenge. We have a rich history of meeting challenges, whether in peacetime or wartime. We don't know what the next challenge is going to be or what it will look like. Uh, that's usually the, the story, uh, but we always seem to break it down, overcome it, and move on. It, it's, it's like a big chain of events. It, it's one big circle. You have to put in to get out. You have to give to get back. 